And to the classroom we go, apparently, because that's where we're going. It's the afternoon. And here comes a segment where you have to do these things. Basically, the teachers are going to give you a, quote, lecture. They're, it's not that long. It's not like, you know, 60 minute long classes. They're just going to give you like a little bit of information. And then on occasion, it'll give you the option to do several different things. So, first of all, open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zen Zuo, Zou Kasai. Ah, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Huh? Um... Psst, who, who did she like? It's Su... Su... <laughs> it's not that hard. If you were reading, you should be able to get this answer right away. That's right. So you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Minato. You hear your classmates whispering. Minato gave him the answer. He must pay attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. So yeah, if you... In cases like that, you know, Junpei, pretty much 100% of the time, is going to ask the question, and he'll be like, hmm, what's the answer? And then, like, if you, if you get the right answer, your charm will increase. And your charm is part of, like, these three meters that you can build up that allow you to do several different things throughout the game, such as, you know, continue on social links, which have been explained... No, they haven't been explained. Never mind. Since the class is the end of the day, you decide to go back to the dorm. So yeah, now we're just walking through another part of the places we can explore, aka... Uh, what's the place called again? My brain's hurt. Tatsumi Port Island. There you go. The strip mall is lively in the evening. That wasn't the evening, though. It was the afternoon. I didn't see darkness outside. And watch this. Use the force, Minato. <laughs> He just, he doesn't even, like, reach out to pull it in with him. He just kind of, like, puts his hand out and the door comes with him. There's nothing that makes sense about that. So, this is our new guest. Yes, it is, you sophisticated guest, you. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki, Ikutsuki, Ikutsuki. It's not that hard. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. Well, I might as well sit by Takaba, because, you know. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Well, to be honest, I do have other business here. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Who else lives here? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just that I l <laughs> uh, Okay, I'll just have to explain now. Akihiko's voiced by Liam O'Brien, if I didn't say that before. Holy crap, Liam O'Brien voicing Akihiko. It's so sexy. The sound of his voice is just... ah. Uh, can I just listen to that daily in and out? And plus, like, Akihiko's personality overall in the game. It's just like, I love it. It's just, he's a great character. In this otherwise, like, subpar, in my opinion, in this, in this otherwise, like, subpar cast of characters, he's, like, godlike. I, I love him. I Not hope you all get along. <laughs> well, of course, he's a fictional character, and, like, I don't actually know him in real life, so I love his character. It's awesome. No, I hope you get along Any with me. Any other questions? Uh, the other night, I saw... You saw something strange. Like what? I don't know. Uh, she kind of had a gun to my head. Or was going to put a gun to my head? <laughs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. I love that. She's just, I just like, she had a gun to my head, and then it's just like dot 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 with that face of hers. <laughs> Something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? Nope, I'm good. Then I hope you have a successful school year. And I hope you die. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. 
as no they you. say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the pun. <laughs> there was a pun there? That, that was... <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. Yeah, that was lame. It's like I'm talking with Blue Man all over again. Oh, I just insulted you. Because <laughs> that's what's going out of your brain. Some Z's, or if you're Canadian, Z. Actually, if you're anywhere but America, sorry, I'm getting, I'm talking over the dialogue. If you're anywhere but America, it's Z. So how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. What? Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and... Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Oh, God. Just, what is this? Potential? Dark hour? So confused! Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, whoa, what the? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, son! What's going on? Welcome to the Velvet Room, my dear young man. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It's been years since we've had a guest. It's a document you signed at the dorm. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Oh, goddammit, emulator, stop doing that. 
Is this a dream? Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. Okay, you need to stop that. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this. I really hate Igor's eyes. They're just like, they're looking at you. Till we meet again. With their tiny little, like, pupils. And those red eyes around it. It's like, ah! Stop staring at me! I mean, look at those eyes. They're the eyes of, if I wasn't obviously good, I'd want to kill you. <sighs> I hate Igor's eyes, I do. But it's not like Elizabeth's eyes are any better, especially in that cutscene. Because Elizabeth's eyes in those cutscenes are just like, what? What? It feels like you had a strange dream. However, it's time to go to school. Know what it's also time for? School. Because it's nothing time for anything else. Uh, Junpei? What's up, man? Man, today is the perfect day. The sky is blue, we're young. What more could we ask for? I think you need rest. Dude, I'm not sick. Forget the old Junpei. This is the real me. You should cheer up too. After all, you've got me for a friend. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I'm Mr. Ekoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you all about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lick isn't relevant to everyday life. But oh, how they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes, and you run into these quite a bit. If you stay awake, your... Ooh, your academics will increase, which is another one of those bars like charm. But if you go to sleep... Your physical status, aka if you're like feeling good, sick, tired, etc., that'll go up for whatever it is to something. I believe it'll go up to great, which is the highest possible thing. But you see, when it comes to a specific point later in the game, that's also going to harm you. So stay awake. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Ise Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it Da Bomb. Ugh. I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics have increased. And I won't be doing those anymore because they happen a lot. Ah, uh, like a lot they happen. It isn't, it isn't even funny how much they happen. You decided to go home with Junpei. And again, these are just those things where, like, they show you through areas where you can go in the play. The station is bustling with students on their way home. But yeah, again, these, these places show places that you can go in Tatsumi Port Island during your free time, basically, when you're not, you know, on a forced event. So again, we're sleeping, and they're observing us, more than likely. I bet they are, because that's what they are. Creepers observing us. How is he? Oh, God, that, that emulator lag. I hate it. <laughs> that one sounded a little weird, though. He's like, how is he? The same as last night. Did I say observing us? I should say observing us, because it's me, you, the entirety of the audience, technically, and everyone else playing this video game. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation... But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. 
but still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. That's what she said. On to the next episode.